this is my little bishop's crown. First time I've ever been able to grow one of these. I've had seeds I've tried many times, but this was the first time I I got some uh, seeds to germinate. Got plenty of pods on it, and they're quite large. And that a few down here, the first ones to appear, which have ripened up. Uh, they're a nice size. Yeah, good little plant. I'll be interested to taste them. I'll leave it a bit longer. I've thinned out the inside of the tent. The heat's knocking them about a bit. But I've got lots of pods coming up. This is a yellow habanero, lemon habanero. Got lots of little pods on it coming up. I'm looking forward to seeing what they are like. Um, and this is a Trinidad scorpion. It's starting to uh, get a few little pods and lots of um, pods on it. Here we go. This is a devil's tongue. Starting to get some pods appearing on it. This is a couple of years old, this plant. So, kept it alive. And this, I'm not quite sure. I thought it was a Naga Marish, but uh, anyway, will be interesting. It's an old ghost pepper starting to put up. Oh, look at all those fucking aphids. Anyway, I'll spray that again in a sec. Bit of a problem with aphids in the moment. I've opened up the tent to see if I can get some natural predators in. It's more mushroom, cat mushroom. Plants look quite poorly for quite a while now. I'm not sure why. Too many pods over on it, I don't know. This is my Arky. Where's an Arky? OJ. Look how stemmy it is. But it's got some pods coming on. Here we go. Be interested to see what they look like when they're fully grown. These are also Rojos. God, they just grow stemmy. There's pod growing on that one. And it's got a couple. I didn't know whether this would even flower, these two. Uh, this one's a Scotch bonnet. Uh, got pods on it. No, um, some flowers. Sorry, no pods, just flowers and flower buds. This one's a Trinidad scorpion. Lots of flowers. Can't see any pods yet. They should be on their way. This is a Naga Viper. It's a beautiful little plant. Got a pod there. Hard to see. Another one there. Lots of flowers. Oh, UFO. It's not liking the heat. Probably not the aphids either. And this one's an AJ Amarillo. So this was another plant that I haven't been able to get many se um, seeds up and going. Had the seeds for a couple of years and that, but it looks like I'll get some pods off this one. This is a, a first that I've got uh, to germinate out of that mob of seeds. And this little one, this is a um, Madame Jeanette. It just keeps producing pods. They're very much like a habanero in taste and that, uh, but yeah, prolific flowering and potting. Look at this, just can't get rid of these little fuckers at the moment. Excuse my language. White fly. This is a chocolate bootler. There's actually two plants in there. It, uh, I thought it was actually dying the other day, but it seems to have come back a bit. Uh, 
We'll go over and put a plant over near the tree over there. Try and get rid of some of these aphids. And this one as well, which is a Chenzo. Nice looking plant, but Christ, so many bugs on it. These ones I pulled outside the other day. So they're doing all right. It's going to be 41 degrees Celsius tomorrow, so that'll test them. And all my stuff outside's going well. No bugs out here. Just all in the in the um, greenhouse. Ciao.